let's dance. And I see black people, white people, Asians, Colombians, Indians, short, tall, and they're all dancing. Look at them go. Watch them. They're fearless, just like her. Look at that. It's like taking the crazy world and bringing it to nothing and blowing out a beautiful world of unity. Yes. Now, <laughs> that's a show worth watching. Sure is. Every day. I think I'm going to call it my four o'clock Ellen DeGeneres therapy. And when she does the, the, the weekly tweet, the roundup, and the clumsy thumsy, and the stale joke of the week, or <laughs> as she said, the joke of the week. Wow. A person that can be funny. Not just today. Not just tomorrow. Another day at school. Hey, what comes to this? I bring lunch today. I like reading, but we don't even have a library. I had lunch and then the stupid girl stole it once again. She's always bullying me. I can't wait till my brother get out of jail. Mom's not around. Dad's not around. And grandma. She wants me to get an education and go to school, but look at all these chairs that are empty. The kids that are not even making it. Nobody want to come to school no more. We only come for our one class that we like. That's it. Yeah. She's the only teacher that cares about us. Don't nobody else care.
high school, we didn't have much. We didn't have a library, so no one had a chance to study. And you know, trying to go from school and go home where there's no peace whatsoever, because my house was a madhouse. I didn't have the opportunity to be able to write plays or read plays and stuff like that. And just her making that generous, you know, offer to us was amazing. We had the library. I was able to go after school and start reading plays and learning more about theater. And it just really motivated me to go forth with what I wanted in life. And now I am a famous actress. Thank you. Thank you, Alan. 